So yeah, definitely a very, very dominant player. I'm really excited to see how explosive this can be, especially in a matchup with Fox Pikachu. Socks are going to be flying. And if, speaking of uh, being geared up for matchups, we do know that Esam definitely played at least 10 games against a, a Fox player of, of a pretty high caliber, so he might be geared up to yeah. play against some Fox. And on the flip side, there aren't very many Pikachus like Esam out in the world, so it's yeah, going to be a, a matter of ZD, you know. He's been starting off a lot of matches slow today that we've been seeing, but once he gets hit, you know, the, the, the train in motion, he's been doing so much damage. Let's see, he's able to mitigate the early damage. Start the start the machine and make it happen. Yeah, ZD definitely takes a little bit of time to get ramped up, but once he does get going, is he seems unstoppable sometimes. Yeah, on the flip side, yeah, he's Sam trying to just take the game plan and like like a blitzkrieg, the lightning get, the lightning war is coming through, just shoving Pikachu pretty much down Fox's throat. All right, quick attacks coming out. ZD looking for that falling nair. He finds it with the down tilt, but not going to be able to find a follow up. Back tilt going to get him off stage. Quick attack right into his facing. He gets an up tilt into the forward air. And good on ZD's part so far. He opened up and oh he, survived the, he survived the opening salvos from Esam. And actually, with a big lead coming into this first game. Yeah, you know, maybe he's always spinning a little bit, never pulled down. ZD right now looking real strong against Esam. The Thunder of Breakout tries to call it into another Thunder. Yeah, the jab and see the Force Smash should kill. Yeah, that's really the Esam classic right there. He gets that jab lock, gets the Force Smash, and that's how he's going to find an early star. And uh, Esam just able to do his best and battle right back into it. Such a clutch moment to get that jab lock because he was in danger of letting ZD start running away with that second stock, and now he's looking at a lead. So much damage from this jab. And so far, it's I mean, all Esam, but got a little bit of an answer coming out from ZD. And Esam just trying to get back off the ledge so he can start playing the neutral game. All right, Esam with that quick backer right now, has ZD off stage, looks for the down smash, trying to equalize his game, but not gonna fight. Up there, goes for a forward air follow up, not gonna get anything as well. Esam actually getting caught with that near ZD now with a bit of advantage, but he's back on the ledge, quick jabs from Esam. And you're getting a lot of mileage out of this jab. Uh, oh man, good DI on the up smash to survive. That was kind of a scary situation. Yeah, and that was really close to the percent where we saw him dying last game, but <laughs> there's no DI that's gonna save you from that near up smash. Yeah, he's, uh, uh, ZD looking so sharp with neutral airs. And that's gonna be the hard part. I don't think Pikachu really has that kind of reliable answer that Fox does to pick up some of those kills. So, you know, early percent, DSAM's able to make some stuff where he does pick up that up smash. It's just when you start getting those later percents, it gets so stressful for Pikachu. One straight neutral air from Fox and the set's over. Yeah, I'm really curious what the decision making process was for that up here angle going right on stage. Esam gonna get the quick follow up though. And ZD just a bully keeping Esam trapped on the ledge. And then finishes up and cleans up with an up smash. And Esam on the ropes, game one. Let's pick up a jab block. Let's see if he's able to make it happen. Tries for the drag down photo, but he doesn't find it. ZD though off stage. He's him looking to end it with the photo. He knows that he can do it. Jabbing him, jab. trying to force so him off stage. Oh my, so much damage. You can't get forced off stage in that situation. You just got to eat it. That's the hard part. That's crazy. And where's he a go? Up oh, smash, oh shoot. Oh my god. He's going nowhere, just standing his ground and taking that stock. And I think from a Yomi level right there, I think. Um, Esam was waiting for ZD to roll through on yeah. you know the uh, the tenth or eleventh hit or whatever it is, and ZD just held a shield and said, "Let me up smash that shield instead." Yeah, like <laughs> every because he's getting pushed back, but and since he can't go off stage, Esam is pushing himself back right. to the point where he's out of range, so the jabs aren't going to be pressuring the shield as much. He can go for the up smash right. shield, pull it back, and get that stock. Yeah, good play overall. Good presence of mind coming out from ZD. Definitely earned that game one. Let's see what adaptations Esam's able to make. Uh, it looks like he started coming out strong there towards the end. He fell behind early. Maybe he's able to ride this momentum in game two, or maybe ZD maybe found the answer with that up smash out of shield. Who knows, game two coming up. Yeah, the up smash really doing work for ZD so far. Yeah, as we are saying, it's, you know, those late situations, it's, uh, you know, the up smash is scary. It's that neutral air, though, that you just throw out and stuff so many aerial options. And have a combo to kill. Fox is crazy, man. Here's the... Thunder loop, or the lightning loop rather, gonna get a quick 47% onto ZD, but ZD answering back with a nail to the traps, actually shoots him in the middle of the quick attack. Says, I can't really do much of that, but at least take a little bit of percent, would ya? 
We'll see if that plays a factor into it. East Sam doing such a good job though. And building up a little bit of a lead. Oh, he put the pressure on, he saw that. CD got teched onto that platform that was leaving. He got the Thunder Jolt. That should be a stock. Not quite. No, missed timing from ESAM with ZD able to recover, actually get a bit of damage onto ESAM. And ZD misreading that uh, illusion hit. That's the second Firefox that ESAM's kind of had a little bit of trouble crawling to edge guard. All right, but this should be a dead stock from ZD. He get, does not get the tech. Yeah, it's difficult when you get the multi-hit moves, you never really know when you're coming out for sure. Always yeah. messes with your timing. Definitely true. You see him with an anti air up smash, leads into double up air, looking for a third, not gonna find it, but falling near onto ZD shield, gets a little bit of a poke. Near up smash, not gonna connect for ZD. And he's him going right to work, has ZD in trouble off stage. And oh! Wow, he caught and the he angle. Caught out the angle. He knew where ZD started from. It was a really hard angle. It goes straight to the edge. He was likely going to go high. And ZD trying to store a semblance of order. Throws a forward smash out. Picks up ESAM being a little aggressive. Let's see if he's able to get the wheels turning and make a game of it right now. Game two has been all ESAM. Yeah, uh, there. ZD just giving it up. Yeah. Didn't realize he had a jump. Didn't Maybe have a jump? He, he might have got hit out of a double jump. Could have been ZD. He's like, I've had enough of this game. <laughs> I, I, I've seen this story before. I don't like it. <laughs> Let's get a new one. So we're coming into game three now. It's uh, it's 1-1. One, one. Good job to East Sam tying that up. And yeah, that was a great game from East right. Sam. Just the adaptations coming in. Game two came in clutch. So much so much more confident. So much more aggressive coming out from East Sam. Let's see if, you know, I was saying it's sometimes ZD has been having a little slow time today getting the wheels turning, but let's see if he's able to download and really find the answer in game three. It's going to be pivotal winner of this match. They're going to have the counter pick yeah. advantage of the, the weather gauge in their favor coming into the late games. Yeah, this is definitely going to be the flex game right here. Whoever gets this does have a guaranteed counter pick on game five if it comes to it. And a good opener right now from ZD. But Esam able to respond right back. Picks up a neutral air until a grab confirm. And he has ZD in trouble off stage. Yeah, game of game of inches right there. If he connected that forward air, ZD was in a world of hurt. Yeah, I mean it's unfortunate he wasn't able to find the spike hitbox of the down air, but he does find it that time. Yeah, I think even ZD trying to change up his angle a little bit to get out of it, but Esam was all over, it had nowhere to go, and Esam picking up right where he left off. Game two, so much momentum in game three, lightning loops everywhere. So much damage, 67 percent. And he looks for a down air. Not going to go for the greedy down air that time, though. Just going to get back to ledge. Nail into the grab once again. ECM just all over ZD. Not going to be able to do anything about all this pressure from Pikachu. And yeah, maybe ZD trying to do a little bit too much. You see him getting caught in either, I don't know if it's shield pokes or maybe some shield drops trying to parry some of ECM's landing aerial options. And the unfortunate part for him is if he gets hit by a landing neutral air, he gets comboed for days. Yeah. <laughs> At this percent, if he gets hit with one, he gets, you know, nailed down. Sometimes. All right. So let's see if ZD's able to clean that up and make a game of it. It's kind of the same story as the last game. And Esam, just so confident, literally ran across the stage, threw out a dash attack, and ZD just didn't know what to do. Uh, and calls out the rollback with the photo as well. ZD finally able to respond with a nail smash of his own. Yeah, ZD looks a little uncomfortable, but maybe that's that nair up smash. You know, you get the uh, the combo juices flowing for Fox, and you feel right back at home again. Let's see if he, yeah, he got a parry that it time. Parry. Let's see if he's able to make it happen. But a good up air in that 50-50 situation coming out from Esam. Good safe pressure, and it this is trouble. Just be it. No, he hits him with the Firefox a bit in space from Esam. Yeah, Esam's just trying to be a little too fine with the space on this aerial, trying to end it right there. And why not go for it if you have this much of a lead? Right, great air dodge backwards from ZD. Not going to get caught, but not able to get out of this pressure from ESAM once again. Yeah, that'd be a scary situation on a platform with so much percent against Pikachu. I would not want to be Back there. Though? Not enough to kill, but ZD in trouble. And Neutral yeah. are covering all his recovery options. Dash track is definitely going to do it. Fox is gone the next frame. Yeah, it's rough time so far for ZD. He's doesn't seem to have an answer for the Blitzkrieg that is ESAM. Coming into game four, ESAM, pivotal game three, as we said, winning the counter pick advantage for sure. Game five, 
yeah. but the way Esam is playing, I, I don't know if there's going to be a I game five. Either. I mean, he's looking really dominant over ZD right now. They're hovering over Lilat, but we're in SoCal. Yeah, I don't know if don't, Lilat's legal. We don't have Lilat in our <laughs> rule set. Yeah, I say run it out. Why not? That a Wario wear too. Thinking about going to a small stage for sure. <laughs> FD gonna be the pick. I don't know if this. Is, if I agree with this though, I mean, Esam does have you know no platforms to interrupt his combos. But on the flip side, maybe you know you saw that uh, ZD did end up picking Kalos, and yeah. typically people that pick Kalos. Statistically speaking, yeah. are likely to pick FD as well. So maybe just trying to change it up a little bit while retaining the same game plan. It's just, let's see what kind of changes that game plan ZD is making. Yeah, I'm not sure the game plan was you know working in right. that game three though. Might have changed it up, but again, the hard part of it too is Pikachu's so good at all the platforms, so many landing options. It's just he's gonna have to. It's not the stage that's gonna have to change in order for ZD to win. ZD's gonna have to do something to make it happen. He's right. off stage. It's oh down my God. He's him. Not gonna miss that, lines it up perfectly, finds it, and that's gonna be the stop. It's like he's putting on a clinic, edge guarding Fox, and you know, ZD's gotta pick up a big hit right now, and Isen, you know, feeling the the, mo the the moment and knowing that ZD is gonna be playing a little bit desperation, throwing out some big heavy hits. Yeah, if I'm ZD right now, you know, I'm nervous every time I get hit, am I gonna be off stage and lose my stock at, you know, any percent? in the game. I mean, that downer just going to be, you know, ZD's bane right now. Yeah, both the both, uh, players playing the new... Oh, no, it's a jab block. And that's the stock. ECM looking to line up another three stock to close out his set. And this is just looking like it's all she wrote for ZD. Our hero might have to make the trip to loser's bracket to loser's final. Hope burns eternal, though, picks up the stock, and he's got to make... A handful of big plays, though, to really bring himself back into it. Yeah, Esam with two stops. Fox is definitely one of those characters that can make big plays, but not if Esam's making big plays of his own. He catches uh, the jump. The great tech. 10 foot ZD. He's and, not dead yet. Yeah, he's living. Uh, it's, you know, rumors of his. Oh, and that's, that's it. You guys jump called out by those jabs hanging over the ledge, and that's going to take him out. Yeah, Jeb has a, <laughs> Jeb, Jeb has a ledge drop option. Apparently, he seems 